the spiral. In the curve menu, the spiral is found right here in that center uh, section. And in the toolbars, we'll open up our freeform tools. And there it is, right next to the helix, the spiral. So we start by defining the axis. So the start of axis, I'll use grid snap, start here and end here. And there's our spiral. It's very similar to the helix, mode, turns, all of that information is very similar. The only difference is, is uh, it has a starting radius and an ending radius. We can draw a flat spiral. Notice it's right on the floor. I'm going to change maybe the number of turns to five. There we go. And there's our flat spiral. And we also have a vertical option. And there it is. And notice that we also have the around curve option. So if we click there, click around curve, pick this existing helix, turns 200, we can place a helix that goes around our first helix. the first radius and the second radius. So it starts really small on top and it starts getting bigger as it goes to the bottom. Following our curve. 